I think it's pretty relaxing sitting up here on your deck and enjoying your Hunter Valley Semion. Thanks for opening it, Keith. Um, so uh, Hunter Valley Semion is the uh, premier variety and style of the Hunter. Um, what sort of, what's the style that you make and, and whereabouts in the valley does that come from? Well, Hunter Semion is, I'd like to say, the reason that people should come up to the Hunter Valley to look at wine, because nowhere else on the planet does Semion the way we can here. It's the most complete Semion that has so much potential for bottle age, so it's just a magnificent thing, such a unique style of wine. And with the market interest going to elegance and more I guess sensible alcohol something that is a drink you can enjoy without uh, having to worry about high alcohol levels Semillon's just a delicious thing mm. now this Semillon sits really as a, a classic hunter style and it all comes back to having looked at Semillon for such a long time from the great hunter Semillon makers and saying it, it's so right it's what has to be made with this variety um, my wife and I own the vineyard that this comes from, which is located just across the road from where we are. And it's one of the lovely things, um, is talking about people coming up to the Hunter Valley and looking at what the valley has to offer. Um, we have the, the view that overlooks the vineyard. Uh, we are here as a family on the weekend to talk to people, to show the wines, to explain what they're all about, with a view like the view we have behind us. It's mm. just a... a wonderful relaxing educational environment that's a fun week away mm. weekend away for people to visit it is beautiful you, you you did touch on talking about semillon and the style that the hunter valley does as being um uh the most world famous style of, of semillon really or um what where does the grape originate from and um why do you think in the hunter it has such a a uh, a definite expression. Semillon originated in the Bordeaux area of France. Well, saying it originated there might not be true, but that's the area in its original place of viticulture that it has become the most significant white. Semillon, Bordeaux area, and in particular in Bordeaux in the area of Saturns, producing this delicious sweet white wine. Now, Bordeaux also makes dry wine, I could say like this as well. Unfortunately in Bordeaux, the area is called Grave. Um, the area in Bordeaux produces Semillon which is high in acid and very light in flavour. In fact, it, ha it tends to lack character to the point where the French will blend Semillon with Sauvignon Blanc and another variety called Muscadet. But it's the Semillon Sauvignon Blanc blend that will probably make a lot of people go, oh yeah, I've heard of that before. Mm -hmm. um, it's the general trend to blend Semillon with something else. However, in the Pocolban area, in the Hutter Valley, we get this degree of clarity and positivity of the variety's personality that makes it into the best international example of what this variety is about. It shows more than the French can make with this variety. So that's the great thing. And 2010 Semillon, which you have in the glass here, it's a delicious drink now, but it will become profound. It'll become so much more beautifully graceful and complex in 10 to 15 years from now. And that's what wine greatness is all about. Not just being a great young drinker, but the fact that it has that rare, rare potential to age so well. That is that is the key thing with Semillon, isn't it? it? It is the white wine style, Hunter Valley Semillon's the white wine style in Australia that is beautiful young and ages so, so beautifully yeah. as well. But I find this wine is just, and when I drink young Hunter Semillon, good young Hunter Semillon's, it's just, they're so pure. They have this purity of fruit, line and length of acid, but but a, a lovely um, fresh flavour throughout. Um, yeah. Very citrus driven flavours. They're poised perfectly. There's a full spectrum of citrus, for example, 
there's green spectra, uh, green citrus, there's uh, yellow orange citrus character, and then there's tropical character. Um, lime and lemon is what Semyon shows beautifully. Mm. Um, you go around to Chardonnay, for example, and again, it's a citrus character, but Chardonnay is bigger, deeper, richer, stronger, like orange, uh, peach, nectarine, um, melon. So more in the, the uh, bigger, richer, fuller, aromatic and flavor profile offering mm. of, of character. <clears throat> and then you go around to bigger varieties like Viognier and Vidello, which are almost tropical in their power of aromatics and power of flavor. But let's go right back to the other end, back to the green spectrum end. The clarity of lemon, lime, grapefruit, hints of guava, these, these interesting complexities, lime grass character. It's, it's just mm. in this glass with such a poise and positive character. There isn't anything shy about Great Hunter Semyon. It, it offers a lot, but it's so light on the tongue, yeah. just like lime and lemon are. It is. When, when people come up, Keith, on, on weekends to come and see you to drink this Semyon, do they ask, I'm sure they do, but when they ask um, you about food matching and what you eat with this particular style of wine, yeah. what do you tell them? Um, fresh seafood, kept simple. Really uh, primary flavours, primary mm -hmm. character in the wine, so primary character in the seafood. Mm -hmm. Not too over adorned, not too complicated. Uh, fresh steamed white fish, shellfish, uh, estuary oysters, uh, prawns, shellfish through lobster is unbelievable. But don't muck it up by making it too complicated. Keep it really, really simple. Um, white bait, uh, which is like sardine that's dipped in batter very quickly. Uh, or go to the, the, the wonderful casual seaside dish of fish and chips. Mm. You get something like a, a nice plain white fish that's battered with lime or lemon and some crunchy chips and semion. I'm not selling it down as being um, just a, a simple meal product, mm. but it's so wonderful to see how well it goes with simple meals. Mm. So, and here we are, Hunter Valley, 40 kilometers in from the great seafood fishing grounds that stretch from the north to the south coast, the great fish markets in Sydney and most of the seaboard uh, main towns. You know, Semyon is perfect for all that. That's a good accompaniment. We, now, when, when Semyon ages and it develops all these toasty characters, um, starts to get a little bit deeper in color, uh, the acid tends to recede or complex a bit more. I'm still experimenting with what types of foods go with those older styles of Semillon. Yep. Um, what do you experiment with, or have you got a favourite? Well, as Semillon ages, it becomes more like uh, Chablis, uh, which is a French Chardonnay. So it becomes broader and softer on the palate, and the acid becomes more gentle. And as it gets these elemental characters, the evolution of character, which is like toast, mm -hmm. um, honey, malt, biscuit, these sweet aromatic characters. The closest thing I'd link it to is a touch of malt and a touch of vanilla. So you're getting these extra aromatic characters that still sit with the, the bright core of lime lemon. That stays with the wine for an enormous number of years. What you have is this elegant white with a gentle acid that's still light on the tongue but has this extra complexity, this mouth-filling, rounder, biscuit, honey, talc, um, malt character. And that lends itself so well to poultry. Something like uh, quail, small game bird, light, really easy um, chicken dishes, poultry, without making them too complicated either. But roast chicken, for example, with uh, 
rich oven roast potatoes. I'll make you hungry yet. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. So the heartier meal, but nothing too complicated. Mm. Um, always, always seafood. Mm. But you could be a little bit fancy with, uh, say, a pan fried uh, simple white fish. Mm. I'd steam fish for a young semion or batter it. But if it comes to something with a bit of age, pan frying it so you get a bit of uh, uh, burnt butter character. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> but something like that with a little bit extra um, richness to it. Barramundi and yep. semion, perfect. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Terrific. With a bit of age, yeah. It has quite a wide range. It's a fantastic wine. 